Hi guys, how's everybody doing? It's, what, oh, what is it? It's Friday night. So I was driving today, I was working, I took my, my tablets and when I drive I start thinking. And then I start reading my messages and I've lately I've had a whole bunch of messages about the skin surgery. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go on and I'm going to talk a little bit about the skin surgery. I've had many people questioning, you know, does my insurance cover it? Every insurance is different. So you need to talk to your insurance and see, you know, what what is your insurance going to cover? What are they not going to cover? Most of them look at it and they're like, you know, it's cosmetic and they won't cover the actual abdominoplasty. That's the, the tummy tuck. But most of them, a lot of them, I shouldn't say most of them, a lot of them will cover the panty. The panty is from the belly button down. It's the hanging skin. Like they call it the apron. That, that skin that just hangs after we lose that massive amount. So I'm just going to tell you about my story because so many of you come to me and you're like, oh, I'm seven months or I'm eight months and, you know, I'm ready to have my skin surgery. I'm nine months. I'm 10 months. At seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, you're still in the middle of prime losing time. Like you guys make sure you keep that in mind because if you think that at eight months you've lost all the weight you're going to lose and you're ready to have your skin surgery, you have not. I, I thought, I thought the same thing. I was at like eight months, nine months, and I was down like, I don't know, 110, 120 pounds at that point. So I thought, you know what? I, I was awesome. I mean, I'm in my low 200s and this is probably where I'm going to end up and I'm ready. I want to have this skin surgery. I want to get rid of this this tummy and whatnot. Only because I wasn't even that concerned with the tummy, but because my insurance was going to cover it, I'm like, well, why not? Why would I not get it done? I mean, I want I want the arms done, but all in good time. They want like $7,000 to do the arm sale. I have to save my pennies for a while. Okay, but anyway, back to, I'm at like eight months, nine months, 10 months. I'm down like 120. By the time I got to my one year appointment, I was at 150 pounds lost. So I'm very excited going in to see my surgeon. And, you know, I said, okay, well, I'm down 150 pounds and... When can I start thinking about skin surgery? And he was like, oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll send you the referral out right away. And I was kind of like, wow, okay, well, here we go. And then I figured, well, my insurance is really crappy. So till he sends out this referral and, you know, it's probably going to be months down the line anyway. I didn't even make it home from the surgeon's office and the plastic surgeon's office was calling me. I was like, oh, my God. They had me win in the plastic surgeon's office like within three days. And I was like, holy crap. All right. So we went in there. He looked at everything. You know, he said, because of my 150 pound loss, I had skin above the belly button and below the belly button. So because of that, I was going to have to have the FDL, which is the, the floor delise. They cut you from hip to hip and then all the way up the center almost to the breastbone. So it's an anchor cut because of all this extra skin up on the top. If they do the panty, the panty's just going to take that bottom hanging and then you'd have this big lump of skin above the belly button. So I figured, well, here we go. Yeah, now this is where he's going to break it to me and it's going to be, what do I need? $8,000 on top of whatever the insurance is going to cover. Nope. He said, oh no, no problem. He's going to send in all the letters. He's like, He'll have everything approved and everything will be good to go. And I was like, really? Wow. So, okay, they sent everything in. Within a week's time, everything was approved and we were all set and ready to go. And I was like, oh, my God, this is really going to happen. So they, they scheduled everything. And when they scheduled it, well, here, the surgeon's scheduling was like three, four months out. So the surgery itself was not going to happen for another I don't know, maybe three months. So they scheduled it out the three months, whatnot. 
Then the three months go by and now COVID hits. So now they have to cancel the surgery and prolong it even further. So from the time that I saw the plastic surgeon until I actually had my surgery, which was about six months because of COVID hitting, they had to reschedule it. It was another three months after that. Over that period, I lost an additional 30 pounds. So at that point, I was down to um, a total of 180 pounds. So I'm just telling you guys, from the time you start thinking about that, at that seven or eight months, put it, I, I know it's hard because y'all want to get there and y'all want to get there really fast. Don't jump the gun because you're still going to lose. You're going to lose up until, I lost up until a, a year and a half, like a good amount. So don't think that you're done at seven or eight months. That's And that's all I wanted to say was, you know, don't, don't rush into that I have to have the plastic surgery now thing because you're probably going to lose more. You're going to lose up until, you're going to lose at least up until maybe 14, 15 months easily. So, you know, don't jump into something just because you want to have it done because you don't want to have that skin surgery done and then lose another 40 or 50 pounds because now your nice tight abs is going to be more loose skin from losing more weight. Make sure that you're at the stage where you've lost everything that you possibly can lose. Anyway, I don't know if that helps any of you or not, but just something to think about. Have a super night, guys.